Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. I have a one page wonder to share with you. I'm so excited. It is going to be super easy to make and you can make so many once you get started. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the base and then I'll just you know show you a little bit of what I've added to it. Uh, before I get started though, I was thinking about another project that you might wanna check out in case you haven't seen it. This is my card keeper that I made a long time ago um, by using an altered, a book that I altered, I should say. Um, I do have a tutorial showing you how I put this together and I thought it would be so great to use this for, or make one I should say, to keep you your um, holiday cards, your Christmas cards, all in one little spot that you could, cut, you know, sort of use it as a little album. So anyways, I just came across this recently and I thought I would um, just remind you that I have that video in case you haven't seen it. I will link it below. All right, so today's project is a super fun little folio. Um, it's made with one sheet of paper and we're using every little bit of that paper, plus of course, any ephemera pieces that you have to make your additional pockets and tuck spots and flips and whatever you wanted to make. But the base has all the uh, main pieces that you can make uh, to put this together. And like I said, you're using up every little bit of your paper. I have used several different digitals in this project because I was just grabbing what I had on my desk. And so I just wanted to show you how quick and fun this is to put together. Um, I've got some little pockets that I'm adding here. I made a little envelope and this env these envelopes I made with the Tim Holtz um, die set. Um, I will link that below in case you haven't seen that before. And then in the center, I made like a little notepad. You can take the pages out and add pages in. So I thought that would be something nice to add to this one. But of course, you know, you can do anything you want with it once you've um, you've made your base. Um, I like the size of it. You can tuck it in an envelope and send it off to a friend or um, share it with family. And you can add photos, you can add ephemera, you know, there's just so much you could do with this. I did use single sided paper so you could see uh, better where I'm doing all the scoring and cutting. But of course, if you use double sided paper, it would just look so different. All right, let's get started. Okay, so you take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you cut it in half. So then you essentially have two six by 12 pieces of paper. I'm using non-directional so I could, you know, put it in any direction and it works fine. So just keep an eye out if you are using a paper that has a direction. So I'm going to now cut one of the pieces and I'm going to cut two sections uh, from it that are both the same size and I'll put the size on the screen. And this is what you'll end up with these uh, pieces. You'll use all of it for this, uh, this project. You take your next piece of uh, six by 12, and then you're going to make the score lines. Again, I will put those scores on the screen, uh, four and eight and an eighth, I guess. So it's just the little notch just after the eight. Um, and then at the four inch mark, you'll see that we have a little gap, which is really um, what makes this project, um, you know, a little different. You take your two pieces that are left over that are four and a quarter by six, and then you score a half an inch on each side. Again, keep an eye on your direction. If your paper is uh, has a certain direction, just see what, um, what I do before you go ahead and make your score lines. Um, I usually like to make a sample uh, project before I make the one I'm going to be using. So then I'm going to just make sure I round all my corners. It just looks nicer that way if you do that. I hope you are uh, going to make one yourself. And if you do, uh, please tag me. I would love to see what you've been inspired to create. Um, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out my playlist for One Page Wonders. I have quite a few different ideas and different projects that I share with you as well. Okay, so I've rounded all the corners, and now we're going to be attaching these two pieces to our center of our main cover. Okay, so I'm just showing you how they're going to go. I'll be adding my glue and adding both of them to the center. And I'm just going to add glue to the inside here and then stick this back on. Now, this is my favorite tacky glue. I use this for absolutely everything and it works 
fantastic. It does not warp pages. I do have uh, links to my favorite supplies in the description box below if you are interested. And for some of the items or some of the uh, shops that I like to get things that I also have coupon codes for you if you're interested in shopping there. Okay, so I've added my first piece here to the left side, making sure I don't go over my score line. And I'll be doing the same to this side, making sure you, you just add it before your score line. Now I'm sure we've made something similar like this one before. I think I have a couple of different projects that have sort of a similar way to attach pages, which is with the binding, you know, where you do the score on one side. Uh, but this one's sort of like a little triple folio type of thing, which I think is really fun. And of course, um, if you adjust the measurements for your, uh, you know, different papers, you could certainly do this with uh, a smaller sheet of paper as well but I did want to use this 12 by 12 sheet of paper. As always, I like to um, you know, show you different ways that you can use up your paper and just make something a little different. This would be so great with some photos maybe, um, or just like a little ephemera that you could share with family as well. So I said we're going to use every little piece. So this one we can cut up and make it into belly bands or side pockets or bottom pockets it you know it's it really doesn't matter um, but you could do it for anything uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two um, I guess one tuck spot maybe and then a belly band and of course if I had double-sided paper then you wouldn't be seeing this white piece but I did want to show you on this single-sided sheet of paper because I think the majority of us have those more than the double-sided one as well and then I think on the screen you can also see it a little bit better when I show that so I've gone ahead and added the um, side pocket there that I mentioned I was going to do or the tuck spot. Um, I did want to say these scissors are actually my favorite. Um, as I was reading the packaging, it says it's for any type of um, medium. So they're great for cutting card stock and cart um, and, you know, um, just like boxes and that sort of thing. So it's just a really great pair of scissors and I'm really happy I got them. Um, I will link them below if you're interested in, um, in getting them or seeing what they are as well. All right, so now you can see we've got all our little tuck spots, our belly band. Now I'm going to add paper to the inside where all the white is um, in the center here. Um, so of course, like I said, if you had double-sided paper, you wouldn't need to do that. And then I left the other pieces white because it really doesn't matter. I'll be adding, you know, kind of ephemera in the little pockets. And so that is not necessarily going to be something we can see. All right, so um, just uh, wanted to show you then what I've done for the finished product, which um, on the front here, I just added a little pocket. Um, you know, I just added a little tuck spot here in the corner. And this is where you get to play. So you get to add your different, um, you know, pieces that you have on hand to make different tuck spots and pockets and that sort of thing. And I just wanted to show you um, the one I decided to put together. Um, I mean, I got another little tuck spot here and then more um, pockets here. I did make these with like little envelopes and then I've got like the center with some um, little paper bits that, you know, you could use for um, other projects. So, um, yeah, that was a, a quick project that I wanted to share. I hope you make some. Don't forget to tag me if you do. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll come back very soon with some other projects and uh, check out my playlist. I have many other um, one page wonder projects that I also share on my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by.